This video is for anyone planning a cool little getaway to discover some of Sydney's most iconic landmarks, immersive new attractions and action-packed calendar of events. Shadows way too long. You always thought that you were weak, but babe, you're wrong. Yeah, you better step into the light, just give it a try. Think that it's time you let that spark out. You've been hiding in the shadows way too long. The retreat is an amazing addition to our site and an amazing addition to our guest experience. It really um, gives guests the opportunity to come and have an, a unique and one of a kind accommodation experience, but also to really get up close and personal to Australia's native animals. So the sanctuary tour um, as part of your stay at the Wildlife Retreat at Tronga is an amazing experience. You get to interact and understand more about some Australian native animals you potentially wouldn't have known about before. So within the sanctuary we have koala, echidna, rufous betong, um, and they're animals that even, even a lot of Australians had, ne had never um, understood before. So it's a really good opportunity to understand about those animals and the conservation work that Tronga's doing. And then as an, as an additional amazing experience, you get to have dinner in, in Magau, which is our two hat um, restaurant located in the heart of, of the um, wildlife tree at Tronga. Welcome to Miguel Restaurant at the Wildlife Retreat in Taronga Zoo. And yeah, we're here, we have a fantastic view overlooking the full harbour, starting from the Harbour Bridge over to South Head. And yeah, we're all about native, sustainable, modern Australian cooking with a fresh touch and a lot of technique. And we hope to welcome you soon. Yeah, the dining experience here for families is great. So we look after the parents with a you know, enjoyable, not overcomplicated offering. Really nice. You enjoy the view, you have a good time, have a nice bottle of wine. And you know, the kids, we're trying to educate them a little bit to get them slowly in, you know, healthy, organic eating and not just deep fried food.
To start our show today, we would like to acknowledge the Camaragal people, who are the traditional custodians of the land. For tens of thousands of years, they've understood the connection between the land and its wildlife. And we here at Turunga do feel very honoured to try and follow in their footsteps as shared custodians for the wild. Now, when we are out and about, looking up into the sky, looking for birds like the black-breasted buzzard, they're quite often looking down at us, searching for opportunities like this, the thick-shelled emu egg. Our buzzard <laughs> goes by the name of Waru. And even with those sharp talons and a sharp beak, yeah! He does need the help to get into this item. And that tool is simply a rock. Have you ever had that feeling that you're being watched? They are everywhere and you might not see them, but they will see you out in the country and even in the city. So Toronto at Sydney's is a 365 day a year site. We're constantly diversifying and trying to bring new audiences um, to our site every day and the, um, the Twilight series, um, concert series at Taronga and Vivid um, Wildlights at Taronga are, are ways in which we do that. Um, it really means that we can interact with our guests and they can interact with our site in a completely different way. We haven't had any events at Taronga for over two years so this is an amazing opportunity um, to bring guests back to Taronga at night. The zoo is a completely different place at night, it's incredible, you see it in a completely different way and you interact with the animals in a completely different way. So it's a very, very special opportunity for us to, to deliver those experiences for our guests. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this side away. It's getting thicker But get away, get away from the drinks and chatter Haven't said a word, but it doesn't matter Feel the air again, then Standing in a blurry dream No one else can see us Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning That's the side of the way So, I mean, whale watching is a really, really dynamic exercise, especially here in Sydney because we have such a long season. It's about six months, May to November, um, and each part of the season has its own unique kind of feel. Uh, right now, June, um, kind of, well, May and, and early June, still a bit quiet. We're still just starting to see the, uh, the beginning of the migration, so we're maybe getting you know, 10 to 20 whales a day coming past Sydney. June, it really starts to ramp up quickly. And then in July, you're kind of at the peak of that northern migration. You're seeing lots of whales, and you're also seeing the, the mating rituals, the competition pods, um, a lot of activity and action. It's, it's, a, it's a really neat time to whale watch here off of Sydney. Um, through August, you kind of see that sustained till about the middle point and then the numbers start to die off as most of the population 
is north of here, up in the tropics for mating. But then once September rolls around, they start coming south again. And it's, it's very similar. You, it starts out with a trickle and then uh, kind of the rising tide of, uh, of, of the numbers coming through. And that's when you start to get really curious, interactive whales. They're, they're incredibly relaxed. They're slow moving, usually great big adults who just want to check out the boats and, and hang out underneath the boat and look at you. And you can spend an hour with, with one whale just underneath the boat looking up at you. It's, it's phenomenal. And then that slowly uh, changes over to the very last thing we see uh, through kind of later in September and then through October, which is the mothers and the calves. Uh, the, all the, the newborn babies that are coming down out of the tropics, heading for their first feeding season down in uh, Antarctica.